Girl, I can't lie. Ain't like a you, 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 you. Watch her back it up. She do that tongue. That's what's up. Hey everyone, welcome to Xander Dreams, where we discuss everything business and entrepreneurship. Here are five things that this person learned after starting their business and may be helpful to you and your business. Number one is to be patient. We all get super excited and think we're just gonna sell out in the first 10 minutes but it doesn't always work that way so just be patient and you will eventually make a sale next we have to promote as much as possible you are never promoting enough push your brand as much as possible no matter how much following you have giveaways do not always work as far as making sales out of them Get ready to spend money because although you are not making sales, you still need to pay for your store to be running. And lastly, it is not as easy as it looks. So if you have a few struggles at the beginning, please don't give up. Keep pushing and we will eventually get there. If you don't have customized earring cut holders, you can use your business cards as an affordable way of promoting your brand. And you can use this mini hole puncher for your jewelry. I will definitely link some down below. Tips for promoting your business on social media part two. Consistency is key. I know it's hard, but it's very important to stay consistent. Things don't happen overnight, they take time. Your business growing is gonna take time. So make sure you're posting every day. Trust me, I'm a stay-at-home mom, I know it's hard. Keep pushing. Small business hack. For customizing your boxes, you can go to Hobby Lobby and they have a big selection of stamps. I literally got all this for only 20 bucks. Look at this, it's so pretty. First, you start with your Eggo waffles. I prefer buttermilk, but you could get whatever you like. They have blueberry, strawberry, blah, blah, blah. Cinnamon, some syrup, maple, whichever kind you like. Don't get the low calorie one. And some butter. Okay, so I wanna address this because she is absolutely right. So if you don't know a lot about jewelry, the term gold-plated often makes it sound expensive. And this is a marketing tactic that a lot of big companies do. And because these companies are good at marketing and they're hiking up the price, a lot of people think that gold-plated means gold. If you guys want me to go more into detail about this, I can. I sell a lot of gold-plated jewelry and most of my rings are under $10. There's absolutely no reason why your gold-plated jewelry should cost over $50. Don't want to spend money on professional photographers or creative directors? Well, here's a simple way of taking aesthetic photos for your brand. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from it. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.